Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to overline your lips so that it looks natural and it doesn't look like you've overlined your lips. I did a video, I will show you an image of the thumbnail that I posted, and I had a lot of people ask me if I had gotten lip injections done, um, which I found funny because um, I always complain about how small my lips are. You can tell they're very small. So it's funny, people thought that I had gotten them done. I hadn't. I just overlined them in a way that I guess it looked like I had. So I thought it'd be good to show you guys how I did that. So if you want to learn how to get the look of a full voluptuous lips and kind of fake it a little bit um, without looking like you faked it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to zoom us in a little closer so that we can see my lips better. What you're going to need, you're going to need a nude flesh tone colored lip pencil. I have two options here. I have um, one by Make It Forever. It's the Aqua Lip and it is in the shade 22C. Um, and then I have this Cryolon in the contour pencil in the shade 925. Um, I'm going to use them both uh, in the video where I overlined my lips, I actually just had this one on, but this is a little bit darker and I feel like at using a lighter one is a little bit easier and kind of a little bit um, more foolproof way to achieve that look. So I'm going to show you guys how to use them both. Um, and then you can decide if you want to use them both or you just want to use one over the other. Um, and then you're also going to want a lipstick. I'm using the lipstick by Tarte in the shade Basic. So this is their duo where it's like a lipstick on one side and then a gloss on the other. Um, and I chose this one because it's a nude colored lip. When you're overlining your lips, I think it's the easiest to start out with a nude color because it's going to look, um, it's just a, it's a little harder to mess up. And if, when it starts to fade throughout the day, it's going to look more natural versus overlining with like a really bold lip color. And then when that starts to wear off, you begin to see that throughout the day. So we're going to start off in baby steps. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is grab your lip pencil. I have nothing on my lips. My lips are completely naked. Um, now, you can see that I have very small lips. I don't really have a full bottom lip, and I don't even have a full top lip. So if you have one or over the other, like if you have a full bottom lip but a small top lip or a full top lip and a small bottom lip, then you're in good shape. For me, I'm going to out overline both um, because I need it, but I'm going to be careful with how I um, do the top and the bottom. Okay, so... We are going to start with the bottom lip. So when I look at my lip, I see, you know, the obvious lip line and then there's like this little tiny line below it that is not quite as dark as the rest of my lip, but it's still part of my lip. And I'm basically going to outline on that part um, of my lip. So it's slightly overlining, but I'm not getting out here on my skin. I still want that line to be on my actual lip. So I'm going to start with this lighter one. The reason you want to start with a lighter pencil first is it's basically creating a foundation, a base. So when the darker or the bold lip liner starts to wear off throughout the day, um, you have that lighter one there to make that look more natural. Um, or if, for example, when the lipstick starts to wear off, if the lipstick wears off and then you have this overlined darker lip liner, it's going to look really funny. Having this lighter color down first is going to help when that lipstick or that lip gloss or whatever product you have on top of that, when that wears off, um, it's going to look more like your natural skin tone and not like an overlined lip has faded. Does that make sense? Okay. So one thing that's key is that you want to make your line thick. You don't want to just draw a, a line around your lips. You really want to blend that into your natural lip. So now that I have the bottom line done, I'm going to do the top lip. Now the top lip, I'm going to slightly overline, but I'm really going to focus it like right on the outer part, the top of my lip. Um, that's where I'm going to create the illusion of more volume without looking overdrawn. So I'm going to keep the line. I'm basically going to follow my natural lip line, that very outer part of it. But then I'm going to go a little slightly higher and rounder on the top. Okay? So I don't know if you can tell the difference between the side that I've overlined and the side that I haven't. But it's just like the slightest overlining. And really, the only place that I kind of went outside of my lip line is right here at the top. You really do have to work with what you have. So if you have, you can only take it so far. So I've got small lips. I can't draw Angelina Jolie lips. It's just going to look crazy, right? I can only enhance 
to, for it to look natural. I can only enhance what I already have. So just keep that in mind. When you're overlining, don't try and create something that is so far from what you already have because that's almost that's impossible to make it look natural. Um, you really just have to just accept that you can only enhance what you have, but still create like a significant difference um, in the way that your lips look. Okay, so I have my foundation lip liner already drawn. I am going to kind of go in and fill in with the lip liner just to blend that out. This step is really important, you guys, because if you don't fill in with your lip liner and you just line your lips, when your lipstick or your lip gloss fades off, you're going to have, that lip liner is going to be the last thing to wear off. So if you didn't fill in your lip at all, then you're just going to have this overlined liner around your lip and that's going to look really funny. So you want to make sure that you fill your whole lip in. That way when your lipstick lip gloss fades off, uh, you still see that liner, but it's very um, consistent and it doesn't look like overlined lips. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the Kryolan N25, and again, I it's not necessary to do both these steps. Um, this is going to, using both of them is going to give you the best results, but if you're in a hurry, you don't have time for this, and you can choose one or the other depending on your skin tone. If you're pretty fair, I would go with the first pencil. Sorry, guys. If you are um, darker, more like my skin tone or a little darker, I'm not even that dark. This one actually is slightly a little too dark for me. Then you can go with something like the Kryolan N25 initially. You just want to make sure that you don't go in with too dark or too bold of a lip liner initially. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to go over what I just did. Um, one thing that works really well for me is laying the pencil on its side versus going in with the point. So I'm just going to lay it on its side and I'm going to um, pretty much just go over exactly what we've already done. Then I'm going to go in and fill it in. If you want to build it and um, create more volume, the best thing to do is to start conservatively and then slowly start to build. So draw that first line as close to your natural lip line as possible. Then you can go in and just add the volume in the areas that you um, want to enhance, uh, but slowly build on it. You know, if you just go in right away and way overdraw it, it's not going to look natural. And again, the best place to get that natural volume, that natural looking volume and still look natural is right there on your cupid's bow. That's the easiest way to enhance without looking overdrawn. So you can already see that my lips look a lot larger, um, more, like they have more volume than they really do have. Um, then next I'm just gonna go over with the lipstick to blend everything together. And last, I am going to top a little bit of a gloss just in the center of the lip. That is also going to do a lot to help you create a fuller, more voluminous lip. Um, and I'm using just the lip gloss that comes with this lipstick. And I'm just going to really concentrate that in the center and then just kind of blend it out with my finger. And that's how I create a more voluminous, full, but natural looking lip. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Be sure and subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.